hello and welcome all in this tutorial we are going to learn about picture element okay in our previous tutorial we have seen how to use image maps and how to make clickable sections on one image okay now if i just click on this lamp okay the image the data will be displayed whatever i have linked and again if i just come back if i just click on this pillow whatever i have linked that data will be displayed okay this entire thing we have seen and also we have seen how how to use coordinates and how to assign coordinates value inside the images and also we have seen about shapes inside image maps now in this tutorial we are going to learn about picture element okay picture element is also very important one particular point we should always learn responsiveness okay we should always try to make our website responsive okay using css we can do lot of stylings and we can make our website responsive but we are going to see using picture element how on different screen devices how we can display different images okay now let's see how to do that one okay now here i'm just going to comment this entire thing okay the previous part i'm just going to comment whatever we have learned i'm just going to comment this okay this entire thing i have just commented out now below this i'm just going to write one uh, i'm just going to write one h1 and here i'll be writing here picture element this is going to help in displaying different images for different screen devices okay we are having mobile we are having tablet we are having laptop okay for each screen devices we are going to display different images and also it is going to add more flexibility to the developers okay let's see an example of this now here i'm just going to write here picture tag now this picture tag will also be having closing tag now inside this picture element i'm just going to create here source okay source tag and inside this we are going to write here source set attribute okay if we are using images then we will be having src attribute but here whenever we are using picture element and inside source we will be having source set now inside this i'm just going to give the picture name let me just write here picture one okay whatever i'm having inside this folder i'm just going to write that one dot jpeg now below this i'm just going to copy this one and here i'm just going to write here lamp and for lamp i'm just having here jpeg i'm just going to write that extension and below this i'm just going to write here image tag okay image tag you should always give because if this picture element is not supported inside your browser then this image will be displayed okay whatever image i have given here that will be displayed to me and inside this salt i'm just going to give here cartoon i'll save this i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now my browser is supporting picture element so the data will be displayed to me okay whatever source i am having inside this one okay the first image will be displayed to me okay now in the same way if i just give here lamp on top i'll save this i'll refresh this one now this lamp will be displayed to me okay now if this is not supported if this picture element is not supported then whatever we have given inside this image that will be displayed to us okay now if i just change the spelling here and also here i'm just going to change the spelling i'll save this i'll refresh this one now you can see this cartoon okay this image will be displayed okay because this image okay this src does not exist so this will not be supported by my browser so this entire thing will not be displayed and i will be getting the image as my output okay so this picture element is very important and if you want to display different images for different screen sizes then also you can do that one now here i'm just going to give the proper spelling i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now here i'm having this lamp i'm just going to inspect this just right click on this and inspect this one okay now here let me just bring this down now here i'll just bring this down now here if you notice whenever i just okay whenever i reduce the size you can see here on the i'm having this lamp okay in all the screen devices inside my pixels 2 inside galaxy inside all the mobiles okay you can see inside iphone everywhere i am getting this image okay but i don't want this one okay instead of this inside each screen devices i want separate images should be displayed okay so for that in okay let me just comment this one okay, you should always take care that the last child of the picture element should be the image tag okay so that for users who are not using browsers which are supporting picture element okay for them this image will be displayed okay now below this i'm just going to write this picture element and inside this i'm just going to write here source i'll write proper spelling and inside source i'll be writing this source set and inside this i'm just going to pass the image okay here i'm just going to write here lamp let me just write here lamp dot lamp extension is jp eg okay i have passed that one and here i'm just going to give one attribute that is nothing but media and here i'm just going to specify minimum width 
okay we will be telling no when your minimum age is 18 only then you have to vote okay so i'm just writing here minimum with once i reach to 650 pixel i just want to display this image okay i'm just writing that one i'll save this and also i have to write this image tag i'm just going to copy this one and here i'm just going to paste i'll save this one i'll refresh this one okay now here i'm having this image because if i just show you i'll inspect this okay now you can see at smaller screen devices i'm not having this image i'm getting this cartoon image let me just give 100 percent and also let me just make it as responsive now you can see here i'm having this lamp image okay because here my size has been increased now now here i'm just going to reduce that one okay once i reach okay now here my width is 562 which means that it has not reached minimum width 650 pixel so whatever i am having below that will be displayed to me okay now once i reach 650 you can see once i reach 650 okay now here i'll be getting this lamp okay once i reach 650 let me just reach okay you can see here i'm getting this lamp image okay this is how source attribute is useful for each different screen devices we can just use that one okay let me just separate this and now if i just show you the output you can see here here i'm having lamp again when i just reach this one okay below 650 i'll be getting this cartoon now again if i just want to add another breakpoint i'm just going to write here source and here i'll be writing src set and inside this let me just write here picture one picture one dot jpg next i just have to write here media attribute inside this i'm just going to give this minimum width okay we are having minimum width and maximum width you don't have to worry about that here i'll be writing here 650 pixel okay once i reach this minimum width this image should be displayed i'll just come back now here i'm having a 378 now here i have given the minimum width as 450 pixel i'll refresh this now this image will be displayed now once i reach to 450 let me just come to 450 you can see this picture one will be displayed to me again once i reach to 650 you can see that lamp post will be displayed to me okay for different screen devices we can use separate images okay and also we can control that one if this picture element is not supported by browser okay then this image will be displayed to the users okay so you don't have to worry if the picture element is supported or not but you should always take care that whenever you are using picture element the last child whatever you are giving it should be image tag you can use source tag like this or you can use source tag like this and also you can give maximum width as well now here i'm going to give maximum width i'll save this i'll refresh this one okay now first you can see first at 660 i'm having this one now once i reach that 650 okay maximum width okay now maximum width is once i reach this one i should stop displaying this image so at 650 okay once i reach once i cross 650 this cartoon image will be displayed once i come to this maximum that will be displayed again once i cross this one okay this entire thing okay you can see even if i cross 450 i am getting this image because the maximum limit of this one is 650 pixel so 450 comes inside this one so it is not getting displayed if i just give here 750 i'll save this i'll refresh this one now i'll just come here now at 650 it is going to stop displaying after 650 okay you can see this image will be displayed because the maximum is 750 pixel okay later on after i cross this limit this cartoon image will be displayed to me i'm just going to cross 750 now okay you can see after crossing 750 this cartoon image will be displayed to me okay this is the basic difference between maximum width and minimum width you can give any property and you can use this picture element in your projects and also you don't have to worry the browser will be selecting the best image for the screen devices okay if you are having multiple source tags the browser will be selecting whichever images fits in your screen okay that particular image will be displayed to you so you don't have to worry if you are having multiple source tags okay this is all about picture element that's all for today's tutorial Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.